today we're going to transform this huge shapeless shirt into a nice dress with a little ruffle at the bottom. We'll start by cutting off the sleeves. Next, measure 4.3 inches from the collar on both sides and mark it with fabric chalk. And now measure the sleeve using a t-shirt that fits you. Just like that. I've gotten curious lately about where my viewers are from. So if you're in the mood to share, just let me know in the comments. Now trace along your chalk line and cut along this line on the front panel of the shirt. Draw the same line on the inside back panel of the shirt. Cut along the line. Now measure the line from the edge of the new sleeve to the bottom edge of the shirt. Mark it with fabric chalk. Now cut along the line. Repeat on the other side. Fold the shirt in half like this and pin. Now trim the panels according to your original cut like this. Do this on both sides. It's turning out great, isn't it? Now it's time to secure the new side seams using pins. Now let's go to the machine and sew these two sides together. Next, let's open up the collar. Secure the remaining part of the collar using pins. And back to the machine to sew it together. Wow, looks nice. Next, we're going to fold the shirt in half again, like this and pin it to secure it. Measure a straight line at the bottom of the shirt and cut along the line. Do this on both sides. Let's transform the sleeves into a ruffled hem. Cut off the wrist part of the sleeve. Now cut the sleeve at the seam. Measure 5.91 inches from the folded part of the sleeve and mark it with fabric chalk. Using a ruler, trace the marks you made with the chalk and trim off the excess. Cut it into two equal parts and trim off the unusable pieces. Now, 
Now align the edges to make them straight and mark with fabric chalk. Then cut where you marked. Attach all of the fabric pieces together using pins. and back to the machine to sew. Now that that's finished, we're going to hand sew the hem to make it ruffled. Now attach everything to the dress using pins. And back to the machine to sew. Make sure the curly parts are even as you go. So far so good. Now it's time to finish the sleeves. Attach bias tape to the sleeves using the pins. And back to the machine to sew. Sew the ends of the bias tape together and then cut off the excess like this. Then fold the excess of the bias tape and pin it back like this. And start there to sew it down. Removing the pins as you go. Now that we've done that on both sides, we're going to make a belt from the scraps. Start by marking 1.9 inches on all of the pieces. Then trim off all the excess. And again with the next piece. You should end up with a bunch of pieces that look like this. Lay them all out like this. and then start pinning them together. You'll end up with a long belt. Back to the machine to sew it all together. Once you're done, fold it in half and sew the two open sides together, like this. Check to make sure everything looks good. 
Now let's give it a try. Like and subscribe for more sewing hacks. Look at how cute this ruffle turned out. And this belt just pulls it all together.